Hello and welcome back to Cinematic Trash. As you can tell, it's been a long day. <laughs> uh, my my voice is just gone, man. But yeah, it's been a long day. This is I, I'm here. I'm in I'm in Chicago. I'm here in in Rosemont, Illinois, uh, for G Fest, which is awesome. It's great. Of course, it is Thursday, so um, you know. Of course, G Fest hasn't officially started yet, but there's there's some things going on, and I wanted to sort of document this trip because I've always wanted to do a G Fest video, but then I never did. So I just want to go over how how our how my first day went. Uh, for starters, we woke up wicked early. We left the Orlando International Airport at around 7:45 a.m. and we didn't come into Chicago until uh, around 10 o'clock ish. So after we landed, we checked into the hotel, and then uh, we went to uh, the old MB Financial Park, which is under a new name now. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but in the video I took, uh, I show the name of the place. And we ate at a restaurant called the Park Tavern. Now the Park Tavern has this delicious uh, dish. It's uh, the buffalo mac and cheese. It's probably the best buffalo mac and cheese I've ever had. And if you may know me personally, uh, I do love my buffalo mac and cheese. I love buffalo sauce, and I like mac and cheese. This dish is just perfect for me. Now that's like the best looking buffalo mac and cheese. Check that out. Check it out. Those are your nachos. That looks amazing. With, uh, what, what, what is it, pulled pork? Right? Yeah. And then you got a chicken sandwich. Buff yeah, buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken sandwich. I went basic. That looks like a good sandwich. <laughs> it's been a full year since I've been here. It's been like, this, like, I've had buffalo mac and cheese at so many other places, but very few... I think only one place in Orlando has ever come close to, like, this. So after that, we did some walking around. So since G-Fest hasn't officially started yet, we decided to just take the day to kind of explore and do some do some things. And uh, every year, um, coinciding with G-Fest, there's this festival called uh, Taste of Park Ridge. Uh, it's this festival, it's, it's meant for food, right? It's a food festival right all these restaurants have like their own tents their vendors right and they all just you know you can all go there and you can just eat a bunch of food and to complement this they have concerts all day they have bands playing all day it is super fun and the bands are free so you really could just show up and watch the bands only and and that's it you know it's an all day all weekend free concert hi piercy Taste of Park Ridge. This is the annual kind of taste festival that goes on. They got free concerts, they got lots of food, they got beer and games and tons of other stuff. It's like a it's like a good like it's a good contrast to G Fest actually. The first band that we saw was Stone Drift, which is a 90s rock cover band. The second band we saw is a country cover band called uh, Ginger Road, and Ginger Road kicks ass. They they are awesome. Ginger Road is really good, and I've seen I've seen them before, uh, the previous G Fests. And uh, the third band that we saw was called Seventh Heaven. Now Seventh Heaven is like serious. They are an excellent band. Uh, they have some original songs, but they do mostly like pop hits, modern pop hits covers, but they do this thing called uh, 40 classic rock songs or 40 classic songs from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And what they do is they try to fit all 40 songs into a one big 30 minute uh, medley. And uh, let me tell you, it is awesome. It kicks the ass. It kicks major ass. Uh, it is one of the most fun things uh, I've ever experienced. Uh, joining me at the concerts was uh, Sean from JT is Reborn. Uh, we met up at the Taste of Park Ridge Festival and we, uh, we hung out. It was a great time. Tomorrow, but we're here at a concert right now. We had a cool country band, and now we got another band coming up. Uh, Peter Pickling over there is playing some kaiju movies all day, all weekend. 
that. It's going to be a great time. And this is my obligatory cameo. Sean eventually went to go to the Pickwick Theater. Now, the Pickwick Theater, uh, even though G-Fest isn't going on, the Pickwick still shows uh, Godzilla and Kaiju Toho movies on Thursdays. Anyways, uh, Sean opted to see uh, King Kong Escapes because uh, Linda Miller, of course, is one of the guests at G-Fest, and uh, I, she, I believe she was introducing the movie. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, this concert, this Taste of Park Ridge Festival, goes on for a long time. We got there at, like, what, 4.15? And we, we were there pretty much till 10.30. And then we took uh, an Uber ride home, and uh, now we got to the hotel. And so now I'm putting together uh, my G-Fest vlog. This is, uh, I haven't done a vlog in a long, long time, and I haven't done one quite as, as serious as this. So, uh, yeah, but I'm excited for tomorrow and the rest of the weekend, and I'm excited to see you all at G-Fest. Until tomorrow, uh, you all take care now. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Peace out.